skozi eksponate Mariborskega festivala računalničke umetnosti se bomo podali s posebnim vodičem, avstrajskim umetnikom Stelarkom, tudi selektorjem festivala. Well, I, I didn't really have any systematic way of selecting, but I knew certain people who were doing interesting things. I met Lisa um, uh, coincidentally uh, at, at, a, at a performance. It's a, there's a kind of real techno retro <laughs> psycho feel about your work. Um, what sort of installations or what things in, in your installations do you use? Oh, I've got a uh, mixture of things. I've got like, um, at the moment, I've got the, uh, the mechanical parrot <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and TVs. I'm looking at the media and how, um, how uh, people use the media for information, uh, sort of as a substitute for religion. And, and you're kind of like working in the club scene, so it's not in galleries that you really um, want to work in? Yeah, I haven't really worked in galleries much at all. I've been doing stuff for big dance parties, things like that. Um, Rainer I'd known for a while uh, and he's assisted with my sound uh, and so I knew that he was a, a very interesting uh, musician. For your concert you played one long piece or a ser series of smaller pieces. How did you construct uh, the performance? Um, I played a series of smaller pieces. Uh, I constructed the pieces uh, it, well, the pieces, in a sense, were inspired by a technical process. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that the the technical possibilities of the instrument that that I constructed were used to, uh, yeah, construct the music that I play. And the other sort of interesting thing I find is that you're making the sounds with gestures, with movements, uh, right. changing the proximity of your hand, of your hand to your arm, for example. Um, so it becomes a much more visual presentation. Um, Rachel, uh, we wanted someone who could do uh, a theoretical presentation. Rachel, uh, you've worked with people like Orlan before. Um, in what way did you kind of help her? Well, it's really interesting. So, like, I actually took a rather strange um, route into the art scene. Um, I qualified as a doctor. Uh -huh. And I was absolutely fascinated <laughs> by what new technology um, was doing to people's understanding of the body. Um, for the first time, we could see the inside um, in detail as well as the outside. And I wondered whether anybody had sort of thought of taking this further. And it was quite extraordinary because I found that people like Orlan and yourself were actually using medical technology in your artwork. And I'm actually getting advice from you about my extra ear. Well, I've been trying to whisper into your, into your uh, extra ear yet to be. <laughs> well, I'll be presenting three, three, three new projects. The extra ear, which is still uh, being done. I have finished a six-legged walking machine, a six-legged machine, uh, about 500 kilograms, pneumatically powered, uh, supports the body. The body controls the leg movements by arm gestures. And the other one that's in progress at the moment is called Movatar, or an intelligent avatar that will be able not simply to perform in computer space or cyberspace, but a, an avatar that could perform in the real world by accessing a physical body. Well, I've always been interested in constructing um, interfaces with technology producing alternate, intimate and, and often involuntary uh, responses of the body.